Thank you, Madam Vice President. Uh, the FinCEN files show clearly the sheer quantity of suspicious transactions taking place in U.S. dollars across the globe, including the EU. And it's no different if you consider transactions in euros or other currencies in the EU. This highlights the need for better global cooperation. FinCEN case also demonstrates that reporting works because reports are filed in the first place. However, what happens after these uh, are reported, this is what truly matters. Do the authorities adequately check and, if necessary, investigate activities? In the EU, Europol reported, for instance, that there were 1 million STRs in 2014. Of these, only 10% were further investigated, and only 1% of the money reported as suspicious was recovered. This was not a one-off. This is indeed a trend repeating itself since early 2000s. So clearly, we are missing a link. We need a better supervision and information sharing, not just between national, European, and international authorities, but also between banks and, importantly, within banking groups. I believe that one of these missing links could be a more generalized use of regulatory and supervisory technologies based, for instance, on AI for processing transactions. This could sig significantly improve compliance with regulations, identify suspicious activities faster and more efficiently, and also signal it to relevant authorities. So yes, let's strengthen our regulatory framework, but let's also beef up the authorities so that they are able to have efficient fight against money laundering in Europe. Thank you.